So my last video here for punk is gonna be about beauty. So punks, you know, I feel like they spent a lot more time on their hair. I mean, there's there were definitely women in the punk scene, especially in England, and there's like Nina Hagen and, and Susie Sue, who rocked a very strong punk look in their makeup. And Debbie Harry always had fantastic makeup, and I'll, I'll do recommendations for those vibes here. Um, I feel like it was usually about an eye more than it was about a big lip. So, you know, I'm going to make some great recommendations here for awesome uh, smoky eye eyeshadows and Susie Sue always did the very Egyptian like Cleopatra style so it's about getting good black eyeliners and creams um I just feel like it was clean skin I mean someone like Nancy Spungen who is you know Sex Pistols Sid's um girlfriend wife she always had a heavy look because it was you know the 70s and 80s coming coming out of super duper heavy makeup you know in the 60s where it was more dolly and kind of caked on and I don't know, I just like the idea of a smoky eye with this kind of look. I feel like a little bit of kind of bad girl eyeliner is is easy. Um, I don't feel like it's about heavy skin. I don't feel like it's about heavy blush or anything like that. For, for a modern luxury version of what punk is to me, it's just a really good smudgy black eyeliner that looks like you slept in it um, with a really good mascara. Uh, I do love a black nail. I don't have my nails painted right now. But I do love, love, love a shiny black short nail. I think it looks super chic. So I'll put some of my favorite black nail polishes here. And then I also love um, if you do gels, Orly does one called Liquid Vinyl that's just beautiful. It looks like a like pleather on your nails. And I love, 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 love that. And then, you know, as far as like, so again, you know, beautiful skin, nothing too heavy, a gorgeous smudged eye that almost looks like you slept in it, some mascara. And I, I mean, keep the lips simple. You know, I mean, Susie Sue rocked a hardcore lip, like a dark, I don't know, I feel like she did a red. You know, De Debbie always had like a fun, almost disco vibe to her makeup, but it was like post-disco, a little bit broken down, a little bit broken apart. Um, but I don't know, I feel like it's, it's, it's cooler to just do maybe like a gloss, like something super clear gloss on the lip an eye with that slept in eyeliner and then as far as perfume I mean these aren't really girls who wear perfume again I feel like it's more almost like an oils thing not quite bohemian but just I don't know I just don't like to think of the punk smell I've been to a lot of punk clubs and <sighs> so you know I don't know I think you know it's not necessarily let me think about the perfume thing I'll make recommendations below I just I don't really imagine punks wearing perfume it doesn't make sense in my head. Um, so anyway, I'll probably skip that part. And, you know, I'm trying to think, oh, you know what, I'll do I Hate Perfume, which is one of my favorite anti-perfume fragrance companies out of Brooklyn. Usually has something really good. So I'm sure that they'll have something that reminds me. Like, I, you know, some of the punks I know who, you know, the modern punks, like what I can, who, who I consider to be punks is a very kind of different way of thinking who live in Brooklyn, musicians, artists, and stuff. They like to wear really woodsy, fiery scents, like um, Diptyque's Faux Du Bois and things like that. So maybe I'll put, I'll go through, Comme des Garçons has incredible, Wonderwood is one of my favorites. Those, okay, so those, yeah, that's a good perfume. Sorry, I'm doing my thinking out loud here on video. I'm sure you guys love that. Um, those are gonna, what I'm gonna be recommending here as far as fragrance goes. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, that, the punks seem to spend more time on their hair. You know, Susie Sue always had big, huge, overdone hair, which I loved. Um, of course, uh, Manic Panic, which is my favorite multicolored, crazy dye, hair color and dye. They're the wives of the Ramones, some of the members of the Ramones punk band. Um, you know, everybody back then in that whole punk movement, you know, the Sex Pistols, everybody had incredible hair. So if you're going to spend any time here on on adopting that full punk look, um, I feel like it is about a really cool haircut. Like, I love the undercut if you're going to go, if you're a girl and you like going short. I've been thinking about doing it myself. Going that super kind of shaved on the sides, long on top, almost like skater cut, which kind of gets more into California 80s, 90s punk. Um, but, you know, or you can do this full on just spike hair. I mean, I, that stuff gets really dated and... I mean, those guys were really interesting because the, the punks who wore the full-on mohawks 
you know, that was all sugar water. They literally mix water and sugar and use that as their stuff because it's like the stiffest thing that you can get to get the volume. Um, if you want to go there, go for it. I, I don't think it's realistic. I don't think it's very modern, but um, I think it's more about your hair color and having a great cut that kind of, you know, there's an androgyny to punk that I, that I love. And I, I think that's part of what made it so special and, and, and fun. And I love girls like even Miley Cyrus's haircut to me is very punk kind of skater boy haircut. And I think that that looks fantastic on women. And, you know, it's more about your hair color. I think platinum blonde has always been a classic punk hair color in a lot of ways. And then oral, like a really deep, 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 rich, rich, rich black. Um, and then you can also just go for fun colors, like the, the Manic Panic colors. So I'll put my favorite Manic Panic colors here. And then, of course, Platinum is always fun. And to me, it's always punk rock. It's hardcore. I mean, I was Platinum, as you can see from here, for seven years. It's just a lot of upkeep. Um, but I also love the really deep, like, Indian blue-black, kind of midnight black color. I think that's a really cool... If you want to go more gothy, like, punk, punk, punk that's a really kind of good way to go to. So those are my beauty recommendations if you want to embrace punk as your full personal style. Um, if not, maybe you just want to have like a little bit of punk here and there when you're going out on the weekend or something. Um, I think it's just fun to do like a greasy smoky eye that's like it's been slept in. So yeah, it's fun. It's fun to play with. And of course, I love a slick black nail. I think it's so chic. So anyway, have fun playing with punk and I will check you guys later. Peace out.